We are back in morning line. We're going to do the very best we can today not to talk with our mouth full, Leland. And <laughs> no promises. This, <laughs> this is a, a holiday special. Thanks for joining us. Um, you know, I neglected before, and I usually do this as a proper host of introducing our guests. So oh, should you not slacking. know who they are, that's Leland State. I'm Rebecca Schleicher, and I'm not sure about this one. Watson, yeah, yeah. Amy, okay, and thanks to you guys for coming on, because I know you've just done a whole long show, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, thanks again to Mary Elena Ramos, uh, our producer, just does a fantastic job, brought in all this mm -hmm. great stuff. Yeah. Do you have a croissant, famous croissants I with did, Nutella, yes. which uh -huh. is great, and, uh, and Rick and everyone. So we've got some calls, lines open, so we're just talking about anything really mm -hmm. with regard to the holidays, if you want to talk, and let's start off with Joe. Joe, good morning. Good morning, Nick. Hey, Joe, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a happy holidays to everybody at News Channel 5. Too, All right. And uh, <clears throat> my favorite memory is about the, the uh, holidays when I was a younger person was family get-togethers. And I, I would advise all of the young people to spend more time with their families and not count as much on gifts as it, this, the camaraderie of visiting with family because... Uh, one day your family is going to be gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. I mean, mm -hmm. Amen. That, that's a great point. I mean, now, now some people are going to tell you, and there were instances with me that sometimes spending family wasn't that much of a blessing in terms <laughs> of certain topics being brought up or individuals that are a little bit annoying. Mm hmm. Look, I'm sorry, I'm calling it as it is. Are you well, telling me every single family member you deal with is just a peach? No, I'm okay. not saying that at all. But, but you're but right. But I know what he's saying. I know what he's sure. saying, especially with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, too, and I even had to sort of think through this last week, because I don't know if you remember us talking, and then I know we've talked about, I, I was so behind on uh, Christmas this year that I got frenzied and... Uh, you know, stressed out about right. it, and yeah. I find you know I I did get caught up with some extra days off recently, but you know I thought why why you know really the most important thing is being together right. Mm -hmm. right. and and making sure the focus is on that instead of I mean I did I did shop I did get you know did get caught up, but I I would like to this to be sort of a text free. Um, tech-free holiday for my family. I mean, I'm not kidding. I mean, oh, I, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to pull, I'm going to say, How are you, gonna you know, that? I don't know exactly, but unless I just take the phones up. Yeah, drop them at the door, put them yeah. in an envelope. Yeah. Right, or the video games. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about that when he was talking because, uh, you know, not just the gifts, but just being on, you know, people taking the pictures and going for the likes. To me, I think that distracts from being able to actually spend mm -hmm. quality time with the yeah, people you're talking, with. right. Right. You know, the best time I ever have is when I forget to take pictures mm -hmm. and forget to, mm -hmm. to do anything online mm -hmm. and just forget about my phone. Um, so I think that's really nice. I, my grandma now, um, is, has a smartphone and she's Ubering and you know <laughs> posting funny. on Facebook and Snapchat Impressive. too. Um, but it's just really nice to be able to still spend time with her and you yeah. know see her and we know that's not going to be the case Always. in the future. Right, right. So uh, so it really is I think uh, a really important. I'm glad he called and said that because I think everything else can distract from that. Yeah, you know, it's a yeah. different dynamic too for the three of us. Now, see, you've just gotten married. I don't know. Maybe someday you'll have kids. Maybe you won't. But anyway, <laughs> okay, ours are all. It's different now because Hugh is going to go to college next mm -hmm. year. He's a senior, and I think I've heard him say two words to me in the last year. It's just, <laughs> oh. What's up? How was school? Yeah. No, it's nothing bad. He's like, hoo, hoo. That's yeah. just it's so just the age. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And of course, you know, your two children, uh, older ones, are already out of the right, house, right. And, and Anna is is going to be okay. And then. Yeah. Well, Kayla is in Albany, New She's York. Exactly. Albany, New York, and dealing with a, no big snows, but several little bitty snows. Mm. But, you know, it's, it's a different, different ball game because, yeah, this yeah. time last year we were looking forward to graduation uh, that happened in May. And then we thought, okay, she'll be out of the house, but maybe nearby, maybe somewhere in Tennessee or Kentucky, even yeah. if it's West Tennessee or East Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. And now she's a thousand miles away, so she'll come home Saturday uh, right. and be home for a week. But still, it's a whole different uh, setup. For but it's just way different than when they were smaller. And I know you remember yeah. this when they were excited. Yeah, you know, Huey now, and, and and Taylor's just like Huey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. And and that's what they want. And it's not as much the exciting thing to come running down and check out the presents under the tree. It's, you know? it's not. It is different, and that's hard. I think too, as a parent, oh, to yeah. watch that dynamic change mm -hmm. when. Um, you know, you just have to think of other things, and you may have to do tech-free, you know, 
mm -hmm. a couple of hours or something. I don't know. Watch Christmas Story, you know, that runs yeah, all right. morning or something. You know, just a few hours just to get their minds. I bet off they of, wouldn't be as resistant to it as you think. I yeah. bet, because I think everyone does kind of secretly want that too. Oh, I think you're right, and especially they'll be grumpy initially. Have right, you seen this? Right. You take it from them, <laughs> but then it's like almost you're taking away a drug, and it's away it from is them. A drug. And then after about half hour, 45 minutes of being away, all of a sudden the kid you knew is back, mm -hmm. you're and they're exactly a little more right. engaged. And so you do have to pull them away from it, and that's yeah. that's on the parents really, because you're you're right. And then they start having more of a good time, mm -hmm. especially if you throw on some of those movies. I'm glad you mentioned that. So, all right, what are the okay. the movies that you might want to watch? It's a Wonderful Life, Elf. Okay. Oh. Miracle on 34th Bad Street. Bad Santa? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the uncut version? No. Uh, what? I've never okay. seen that movie, okay, actually. Probably for the best. Yeah. I, I haven't either. Yeah. I, I haven't you, either. Yeah. Um, I mean, Christmas, Christmas Carol. Oh, I thought you were going to say Christmas that's Vacation with mm -hmm. Chevy Chase. Oh, yeah, that's no. good. We haven't uh, seen that yet. And uh, The Holiday is kind of a newer one that's now considered a Christmas movie. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. All right, yeah. Hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, Christmas Story. And the, that's good. Yeah, Do you have a favorite? I mean, It's a Wonderful Life. I always cry. I know. Right. That's probably my favorite. Mary Elena saying Polar Express. She loves oh, that one. Oh, Polar oh, Express. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And then one of the more recent ones that we've gotten to watch in here a couple of uh, times over the last few years is This Christmas. It's This Christmas and Almost Christmas. They're, they're, they're similar stories, but everybody is coming back home and mm -hmm. just all of the... Uh, the mayhem that, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that breaks out with family members and everything, but so uh, that, that, those are two recent ones. That and those like. are the movies. Then we always we have now recorded or whatever. I mean on DVD, we The Grinch, and then um, Peanuts oh. Christmas. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Rudolph. Two, and Rudolph, Rudolph still does. Uh, after all this time, mm -hmm. Rudolph wins its time slot every year. Does the it? first time it's out. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. when it, it wins up. its time slot, and, and, and just regular folks, the the big demo group. Yeah. Uh, but anytime we run it, the first time it's on, it's usually one of the top shows of the night. Yeah. I love it. And Hermie the dentist. Uh -huh. You know, you, you, you've been. It's been said that you sort of the, resemble. What? And then uh -huh. we're going way back. Even when I worked in Los Angeles, they pulled that off oh, on they me. Really? They, they did uh -huh. it around the holidays. They did a split screen on uh -huh. air with Hermie and me. <laughs> I never wanted to be a dentist. Great. Yes, right. And I don't uh, look anything like that. I know. I knew you were going to say but you that. you know what? My, don't like one that. of my favorite. I love Rudolph, but my, my favorite. My favorite, not everybody else's, The Year Without a Santa Claus. The I year, just love that The Year Without a, a Santa Claus? The Year Without a Santa Claus. I don't know if I've seen that. Who's Now, if I, I, uh -huh. now, if I go Heat Miser and Snow Miser, oh, okay. then you begin to think right. about it. But yeah. Really? Uh, but yeah, that's the year without a Santa Claus. Interesting. Uh -huh. I didn't know that was the name of that. Do you guys have that on like, uh, yeah, DVD? They, or just, the kids yeah. gave it to me as a Christmas gift many, many years ago. But that's I got cool. that somewhere on mm. DVD. That I'm going to need to watch problem. that again. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. There's a lot. I mean, if you, on the Netflix and Hulu, the, everyone's yeah. putting those front and center yes. right now. Uh -huh. So. That's where it changed, too. Again, not to date ourselves or whatever, but it used to be when we were kids yeah. right, or whatever. <laughs> just. Rudolph came on one time, and you had to know when it was, and you watch it. Now, yeah, of course, true. which is great. I think it's better now, because you can see it. You miss it one time, it's mm -hmm. all over the place. Well, right? I mean, yeah. and when I was growing up, it was that you pop in the VHS, yeah, the VHS and you record right. it. <laughs> yeah. You record it in the big oh, box yeah. of TV. And then you would sure have enough. it. Yeah, so the movies and such. All right, we have another call here. Let's go to Brian. Brian, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Merry <laughs> Christmas, Brian. What are you guys eating? All right, let's see. We have uh, cranberry bagels and cream cheese, cinnamon cranberry buns. Cranberry bagels. Yeah, yeah, they're they're good. What else over there is? Um, I'm having pigs in a blanket. I gained weight. Did I tell you? I think it's all these holiday things and stuff. Hey, the, the ladies there. I can't remember which one's Rebecca, and which one's Kim. Uh, but, um, Rebecca and Amy. And, Amy. and that's <laughs> Kim over there. <laughs> the, um, I was gonna say, women. You know, uh, Jesse, the family women. Uh, they have a lot of pressure. I've seen it. And they cook so well and everything. And some of the men, too, when you're younger, you're really under a lot of pressure. To, not younger, but like of a certain age when you're starting that family and all that. And then later, it seems to, to, to wear off a little bit. Leland knows what I'm talking about. Nick knows what I'm talking about. But it seems like uh, the ladies bear the brunt of the holiday sets. I'm not going to choose sex, but for the cooking, I can't cook my, like, my lady friend. So that's the question. Is that true? Because you were just talking about mm -hmm. how your husband is the baker. We've got actually um, a division of labor worked out <laughs> coming up for Christmas where literally, I mean, we have... Okay, you're gonna do this dish. I'm gonna do this mm -hmm. dish. You're gonna do that dish. You're gonna do that. Your mom's gonna help you with that one. Your dad's gonna be in charge of this. So we've kind of 
uh, distributed it in a way that's not necessarily totally even, but mm -hmm. kind of fair as far as yeah. the, how hard yeah. it is and how long it's going to take. Well, are so. you guys feeling pressure hosting again? You did for Thanksgiving. I mean, I, is it really. pressure or is it more just, you know, you're busy, but you're kind of looking forward to the company? Yeah, it's more like that because it's just his parents and we may have a couple friends over. So it's not like we're hosting a 30 person yeah. meal right. or something mm -hmm. where it would be really stressful. Yeah. I love having company. I really do. Yes, I absolutely I. Love, I love it. We're going different places this year and then we'll have just the, you know, our kids over for everybody at Christmas Eve. The grandbaby's going to spend Christmas oh, Eve that's with neat. us, Yay. which is going to be fun to have him, you know, wake up to presents. But um, yeah, I, you know what? I do feel like I do most of the shopping and the buying, but my husband, like if we need a red, like his favorite is red velvet cake. So mm -hmm. he'll mm -hmm. like spend hours making that make to take to yeah. something. And um, by the way, just a they've got to run off real oh, quick. You guys go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so take a break. Come, come back as soon as you do. Because yeah, they're, they're still doing back. double duty over yes. there. We um, actually thought we had a window with the, the tight shot of Amy. Yeah, there you go. No, this is it. Go ahead. Out. Listen, I'll let you finish your thought. Yeah. Let's take a break and we'll come back. Amy and I sure. are still hanging out and I'll let her finish her thought on Derek and his red velvet cake. Which is really I love red velvet cake. We'll be right back with more of your calls as well in a special holiday edition of Morning Line. <laughs>